Hello everyone, I am Vikramaditya here and welcome to JSoft. In this session, we are going to understand the SAP ABAP Cloud. So let's start off with what exactly is ABAP Cloud. ABAP Cloud is one common development model to build cloud ready extensions and applications, both in on stack and side by side scenarios. So it's available in all current S4 HANA editions and in the SAP BTP environment as well. So going forward, if you're going to discuss in this entire uh, sessions that we have, the course of SAP ABAP Cloud, we're going to discuss about the overview of ABAP Cloud, comparison with the traditional ABAP, key features and benefits, adoption trends, case studies, implementation strategies, tools and resources, and question and answers if you have any. So this is the agenda for the course. And if you are interested to join this course, you can contact us in the contact details given in the description of this video. So going forward, what is a BAP Cloud? As we were discussing, it's a common concept wherein like we can do the development uh, across the cloud, whether it might be in the in, in our S4 HANA cloud system or in the BTP environment. So the development model is a comprehensive uh, approach that covers all end-to-end -end aspects of uh, development uh, processes. So it's an overarching term that encompasses different things, both concrete and abstract such as the underlying architecture, the actual tools used for development, the development guidelines and much more. While those components are different by nature, the collection of these all components support us in the state of art of ABAP development. So we'll, we'll have a detailed look at each of these parts of ABAP cloud. So, but first uh, uh, let's discuss about something called, you know, ABAP cloud. Who will use ABAP cloud? and where exactly we are going to use it. Some of the key concepts of this development model and general architecture of ABAP Cloud is what we're going to discuss. So ABAP Cloud is all about building enterprise grade extensions, services and applications. In general, we consider two different personas who will venture this task. So one is the business experts and the key users and implementation consultants. So we can use the key user extensibility tools. Key user tools offer a web-based author, uh, authoring environment that can be invoked from within a running SAP Fiori applications. They will they'll allow users with none or limited development experiences to build fully functional extensions, yet the capabilities are naturally limited. So typical tasks are changing the user interfaces adding or removing fields, renaming labels or creating custom business objects. This all will come under the extensibility that I'm talking about. Now we've got the developer extensibility. So I, I, I was talking about the business expert, key user and the implementation consult, consultants, consultants that happens to be the key user extensibility. And then comes the developer extensibility. So developer extensibility, they use the integrated development environment the ABAP development tools for uh, Eclipse to create ABAP projects and uh, containing the typical uh, ABAP artifacts such as the data dictionary, core data services and all these things. So now basically SAP ABAP cloud has the tailored for you know it's this concept is tailored for the cloud and native development as well. So native development how we are going to do is what I was talking about just now. The ABAP cloud is specifically designed for cloud native applications that, uh, aligning with the uh, modern cloud computing uh, principles and practices. Integration of traditional ABAP, so it seamlessly integrates with robustness and rel 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 reliability of the traditional ABAP with contemporary cloud capabilities ensuring a smooth transition for developers. So we are, we, we, we are going to still have the traditional ABAP in place and we are going to integrate with that. Scalability and flexibility. So it's, it's highly scalable and it's very flexible because 
we are going to use ABAP cloud wherever it is required. As I was discussing, uh, it can be used in BTP, the business technology platform. So without any effect on the actual core, we're going to develop it in the extensibility. So definitely scalability will be high and it can be adapted anywhere, anytime. So enhance application development. So we've got this uh, um, empowering developers to create sophisticated cloud-based uh, solutions efficiently. So for that, we have this, uh, you know, enhancement, enhanced application development. Now the comparison with SAP ABAP cloud versus the traditional uh, SAP ABAP is what we have. So, as we know, tr the traditional ABAP is something which we were using in the in the core. It happens to be the what do I mean by core is the the SAP R three system, the ECC system, and uh, you know uh, the S four HANA on premise system. So we were using this uh, the traditional ABAP there, but now ABAP Cloud is a new development model for cloud technology that allows users to create business applications services and extensions for the cloud so sap abap on the other hand will uh, as as i was as i was discussing was originally designed to develop enterprise applications and extend the customer specific application so we are going to just use abap for writing new uh, applications or enhancing the existing applications whereas abap cloud can be used for extensibility so the the new trend for enhancements happens to be the extensibility because sap has focused on uh, keeping the core free so that's called clean core so we have to keep the core as clean as possible that's the s4 s4 hana cloud system that i'm talking about and do all the developments in the btp so the abap cloud supports that so the basic purpose, if you see the basic purpose of ABAP Cloud, it is used for cloud ready applications, services and extensions. While compared to the SAP, ABAP is for enterprise applications and customer specific applications. Okay. And then we have got this. Yeah, so if we talk about the features, so the ABAP Cloud includes a cloud native language cloud native programming models and PAS, the platform as a service features and integrated SAP S4 HANA cloud features. SAP ABAP includes data security, business process security, risk and threat mitigations and cloud delivery options. So development tools. So if we compare the SAP ABAP cloud with traditional ABAP, so ABAP cloud is a cloud native architecture enhancing accessibility. It's based on the cloud native architecture. Whereas the, the ABAP is based on the on-premise de de deployment limiting accessibility. Now, SAP ABAP cloud utilizes RESTful APIs for modern integrations. Now you can have this all APIs been, uh, you know, uh, based on the RESTful application. So we are going to discuss about that. So, and in normal ABAP, it's like relies on classical APIs for integrations. So ABAP Cloud offers superior flexibility and scalability. As we were discussing, flexibility and scalability happens to be one of the key features of ABAP Cloud. Whereas the on-premise system is less flexible, often requiring manual scaling. And ABAP Cloud seamlessly integrates with S4 HANA cloud solutions. All the cloud solutions that we have uh, right now, uh, it integrates with them. And obviously, of course, with the BTP as well. So challenging uh, integration with newer SAP technologies uh, when it comes to the normal traditional ABAP. The key features and benefits of uh, SAP ABAP cloud technology happens to be the cloud native scalability, integrated SAP S4 HANA features, enhanced security measure, measures, accelerated time to market, reduced IT workload. Now, when it comes to the cloud native scalability, it's designed for growth 
enabling business to scale effortlessly in the cloud environment and in, in, it is integrated with the SAP S4 HANA feature so it's seamless uh, integration with the S4 HANA enhances operational efficiency and data management enhanced security measures it has got robust security protocols ensures compliance and protect sensitive data against threats and accelerate time to time time to market uh, strategy wherein we can have we can have the streamlined development process allowing uh, us to have a rapid deployment of applications and services and of course the workload is reduced uh, mainly because of the automation and cloud features decreasing the burden on the IT team enabling focus on strategic tasks now adaption trends if you can see in the past uh, SAP, uh, SAP S4 HANA cloud was not that uh, popular uh, if you see the statistics like uh, in 2008 18 I'm taking a rough uh, calculation here approximately 40 percent of the customers were comfortable with the S4 HANA cloud then 2019 it got more to 55 then 70 then 85 and now almost every other client in 2024 when I see the clients almost every other client is ready to move to the cloud and they are they want to grab those all benefits of uh, cloud into their system so now it's like so they, 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 people have started looking at the you know uh, benefits of uh, cloud now so obviously the number of clients who would be working on s4 hana cloud would be definitely more than uh, the on-premise systems so it's very important for us to get updated to s abap cloud we've got a couple of case studies which i'm going to discuss in the coming sessions uh, when we join the live sessions i'm going to discuss all these things Now the implementation strategies also we're going to discuss in the coming sessions wherein like i'll be explaining you the implementation uh, with the use with the help of the use cases so we've got a lot of tools and resources which happens to be very important for us like the ABAP development uh, tools, which we all know, ADT, and then RESTful Application Programming, uh, the RAP, RAP, RESTful Application Programming, RAP, popularly called as RAP. The first one is ADT, and the third one is a Fury UI based on REST app services. Fourth one happens to be the core data services for data modeling, and the fifth one happens to be SAP BTP, ABAP environment for cloud native development. So, we are going to discuss about all these tools and how they would be used for ABAP cloud in the coming sessions okay and uh, do contact us for uh, full-fledged live sessions on ABAP cloud we're going to start a new batch very soon so contact us and uh, we'd be happy to uh, continue the sessions thank you have a great day and do subscribe to our channel and like and share it with your friends thank you have a great day